beginning, it was believed that man originated in Africa, only for them to travel towards the Middle East, where they decided that East was not the right way to go and West was towards Europe. When reaching Europe, a man named Christopher Columbus, a former ancestor of the Americans, decided, I'm gonna buy a motherfucking yacht and travel on that bitch. So Christopher Columbus, with his petty little crew and hoes, as they said back in the day, decided to travel across the Atlantic Ocean, where they ran into some trouble. They ran into an unknown, mysterious land known as America. Let it be known that these early settlers were not the friendliest of people towards the Native Americans. In fact, still to this day, they are not too fond of any colored people. Now you may ask yourself, what sort of evidence does Ricardo Munoz have that could possibly show that this is true? Well, let's start back in 1883 where Bernard Kroger started the Kroger business. The Kroger business is a chain of supermarkets. In fact, it runs down to various stores. One of those let it be known as Dillon's. A Dillon's was recently, not necessarily recently, but a Dillon's was built on Harry and Webb in Wichita, Kansas. Now you're probably wondering, why does that fucking matter? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly the reason as to why I decided to make this video. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host, Rocky Talkie, today here to talk about some fucking shit that is on my mind. So, today, or should I say the other day, I went to Dylan's. It was just a regular visit. I usually go down the street to Dylan's to do my grocery shopping and pay my bills. No, I don't fucking pay my bills there. I'm just bullshit. Only old people do that shit. But I needed to wipe my ass. My ass was crusty. I just shit in the toilet. But there was no toilet paper. So I make a drive to Dylan's expecting there to be quality toilet paper for me to use. So I roam across this brand, which happens to be Kroger. This the uh, 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 own lasting roll is what it says here with, by the four O's. Is that a typo? I don't know. But let's get into this review. So, you're telling me people are supposed to look, first of all, look at the way it tore when I pulled it off. Now, I, god damn, I just fucking hate holding that shit. In a study done in TCU, 1400 students participated in a poop study. What they found was 14 and 32 people used one ply of toilet paper. They can't afford the two ply or the three ply. Uh, let's switch over to live so we can get an interview with Watkins. Watkins. You know, it's a, it's a weird story. I was walking <clears> down the street one day, and you know, I'll be looking at asses and shit, and I see yeah. little yoga pants Ooh. coming out the nail salon. So I look, I peep the ass yeah, I out, and I'm like, damn, she thick as fuck. Turn around, TT. I was like, damn, nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up. On a Thursday Yo, afternoon, man, I don't know if you take an interview the, the right way. Out, or... nigga, and, uh, it was just, it, it, I, I don't Yo, know. All right, we, we got we to stop. That's enough of the interview. That's the... I think this is a serious problem. Why? Why? Why am I ranting about fucking toilet paper? Well, it's because I tried wiping my fucking ass, and next thing you know, I had a fist in there. God damn it. If I was asking for fucking shit crawling up my ass, I would've put my asshole next to a mouse hole. Damn. So fed up with this epidemic, I called up some people who will actually be on the show here tonight, explaining their experience with the Kroger one-ply toilet paper, and I hope you guys make the right decision. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome my special guest, Steven Tyler Jones, otherwise known as Rocky Talkie's roommate. Now, to jumpstart this interview, we're going to start off with some spicy questions. Number one, Mr. Jones, could you please fill us in on your traumatic experience with Kroger One Ply? Well, the last couple of days I've had uh, some stomach problems and... Uh... Mm -hmm. Biggest issue I've seen, uh, this morning I went to go to the restroom and, uh, realized we have one ply. Oh, I'm so And, honestly, oh. you have to fold it 15 times just in order. 15 to times? Ass right. Is that an exaggeration, or? Okay, it's more like four 
times, but still. Four fucking times, and I thought 15 was a lot. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear about that. Uh, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Number two. On a scale of 1 to 10, how spicy was your shit? Um, well, I just had Chipotle. Uh huh. So, I would say it was at that medium level spicy. So, you'd say jet fuel was equivalent. Ah, uh, alright. <clears throat> on to number three. Have you ever performed a hole in one while attempting to wipe? Now, before you ask what a hole in one even is, let me answer that for the audience. A hole-in-one is when you're attempting to wipe your asshole with one ply toilet paper, and while you're attempting to do so, your middle finger or your pointer finger accidentally just straight up slips right into your asshole. Steven? Are you asking if it's ever happened to me? Yes. Y yes, it has happened. Um, honestly. I'm sorry to hear about that. It's happened, it's been traumatic. Um, the first time it ever happened to me. I can only imagine how that went. He told me it was probably the most action I've gotten in a year. Holy fucking god. So, um, <laughs> I've never called it a hole in one because I don't play golf, but I can understand why. I'm so sorry about that. Let's take a five minute break, everybody. Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Stephen, for your inspirational story. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that should conclude today's episode with Stephen Tyler Jones, our guest. Feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, Rocky Talkie is signing out. <laughs>